Well, good day, tubes. How's she going today? Pretty good here. So, look, we got a setup here to give this thing a good try here. See if it'll cut us some wood. So I got, uh, now this wood I got here is, I'm gonna say not fresh, new, green, good looking, good stuff. Uh, this one with no bark on it, I cleaned off. It was the one that was actually standing up by those birch trees on the far side of the road. Got him pulled out the other day. It's uh, a good test piece. We might get some stuff out of it, but uh, it's got uh, a little bit of punkiness. on the bottom here so I don't know how much we'll get out of her but we'll try to get some out of her now you get back in there we'll try to get something out of it if we get to that one this uh, this one this one and this one was from just across the river it was dead the sticks on it were were just brittle like just nothing left of them so it's been standing dead for a while uh, this should probably be scraped all off too, although it's not really dirt, I don't think. I did this one, but look at this, you can see how far, like this is all punky stuff here. It's probably not going to be too great. I'm sure the saw will just buzz right through it, but uh, this stuff will probably end up just scrapping. It's not in very good shape there, so. But uh, we're going to try this guy first here. And I have my little mini X here with the thumb on it to see if we can use that to load onto the carousel thing here. And uh, see if we can uh, get that to work. And uh, hopefully I don't push this thing right off. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm afraid of. Pushing this right off. I got uh, water in here. And uh, so when we pull the, the throttle, starts going it pushes this little valve here which starts our water to flow down there see it flowing down there off and on off and on so it gives her a bit of lube to the blade so there we go we got to get a log loaded I got to get a tripod for you guys um, that's probably a short enough log that we can get away with So this is supposed to uh, stop you from cutting into the log here. Boink. I don't know how well that's going to hold, hold back though, but it's kind of spongy. But you just got to watch it, I guess. You know, make sure you're cutting below, below things. So we'll have to get, uh, yeah, we'll get you a tripod. We'll get this guy. Well, I could probably load it potentially with, with you guys right with me here. Let's give it a shot. And uh, I brought these up with the, the 110 TLB in the loader with the forks on it. So if it'll lift these up, I, I'm not really too sure, but uh, we'll give it a shot here and see. Now I've got uh, two over there that I rescued that I actually had pitched over the hill there. And there's cedar. I got them all cleaned up too. So I don't know whether we'll do that today or not, but... Turn the thingy around here. There we go. Now this one, I it's got a weird curve in it. The tree kind of went up and then it curved a bit and then up again. So this is the curve, and I cut the other two straight pieces. Now this tree, yeah, the bottom one here, the big one on the top was from over there. These three chunks were from across the river, and they've been dead for quite a while. The very butt of the tree, we'll look at it in a second here. The very butt of the tree. Um, Unfortunately, had ants in it, so there's going to be a lot of bug holes in it. But I think I'm going to just classify these as testing pieces. Clamp that down. off some dirt it smells like it smells like nice lumber yard stuff I'll have to probably go grab my uh, cant hook here too I don't know if I'll be able to spin this around without some kind of leverage 
just worried about this thing pushing right off of here, so we'll see how we do. We just have to basically get it on. We can always hand move it after, right? So now this is gonna be yeah, that mill's right back. This is gonna be uh, hanging off a bit, so I probably should try to get it between these three here. If it'll go that close or not, I don't know. And we yeah, this piece won't matter too much. I gotta say we, we should start with the small end. Like a small end of the tree, we'll say on no way he bugs the saw the saw end. Well, I'm not gonna quite make her, so we'll have to come down a little bit more, I guess, here. Go away, bugs! Uh huh. These ones, I don't know if they're going to be really any good for anything. I want to do uh, maybe two, one by twos for some marking stakes for, for me. Yeah, that worked pretty good. Shut her down. All right, we got her on there, uh, but yeah, it's not, uh, not in a really super great spot, but I think if we can get her there somewhere, you can see it's got quite an angle to it, right? So it's kind of going outside there a little bit. I think I should probably turn that. Okay. Not sure I like how tight that went there, but uh, I think we're I think we're in. Might have to put my log stops down a little bit. Let me go get a tripod for you, though. So. Hey, yeah, I think we can put our log stops down a little bit. I don't need to be that high. I don't want to cut into them, right? So we will do that. So maybe there. Maybe about there. That one fell out on me. Come on now. Tight. Okay. Let's see if I can cinch this on a little better here. Seems fairly solid. All right, now we got to line up the blade. Let's get the blade lined up here. Okay, we've got to raise this up a whole bunch here. And we'll get our, what they call a square cant. Oh, yeah, way more. Get our square cant done first. This is a square beam. Probably go more. It's going to probably be about there somewhere so this is probably going to waste quite a bit of this because of the because of the curve in that thing we're free of our everything there that should be good for our first cut all right well let's fire it up here oh you know what I didn't do is I didn't uh, cut the little wire here for this uh, little hour meter there we go <laughs> okay let's fire it up let it warm up a minute here I'll put that on, put the choke on. I should fire up one pole. Oh, maybe not. Oh, you turd. Come on, baby.
first lesson learned. Can't have it anywhere in the way of that little arm thing there. This is sticking out here a bit too far. Now, it, what I could do maybe is take my chainsaw and just kind of cut this right off of here. And then she might clear. You can see when you bring this up here, it'll come back here. here, right? So I need to cut that off of there, I guess. I might just lop the end of that off right on the saw here. A little overkill on the saw here, but it's all right. Oh, hey, baby. Okay, so we got to remember that for next time. Doesn't really like uh, stuff that's not straight. There's our first couple of pieces. Ooh, this is gonna be maybe some nice looking stuff in here. I don't know. Got a burn pile over there. That's good, and we're gonna take our first, our very first live slab here. Sweet, I'm gonna take it down one more, I think. So we'll go down uh, about an inch. I gotta adjust my uh, ruler there so I know how far down to go. We'll do an inch board. That should be bang on an inch there. Of course, we'll measure that too. So I'm just going to bend them up out of the way. There. There, we can continue now. Live edge slacks coming off. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Let's measure it here. It should be around an inch. Let's see how close the tape measure is. Oh, about an inch and a quarter there. Interesting. What's this end here? I wonder. Ooh, we'll get back here. About an inch and a quarter. So I went down a little bit too far, but that's okay. I'll put this guy over here for now. Alright, now we gotta flip it.
for our second one here. Sweet. thin, paper thin almost. How right. square of an edge that we got there. Now there's a little bit of wane on it. We're getting you guys all covered in dust. This is what they call wane, so if we cut a board out of this, this will be kind of the junk on the side. I'm going to probably flip that again though. We'll get our uh, our square here going.
we got her flipped here again, and we're gonna cut the top off, just making sure everything's clear. Looks good. Fire it up. I've been adjusting there. I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on there now. I think I'm just gonna take it out for now. <laughs> I'll have to tighten that up, I guess. Quite a bit of goopy stuff coming on that blade. I don't know if I'm liking that. It might increase the water a bit. Sure, our stops are good. We've got probably one more board we can do there. Um, okay, now i got to think. I'm making one by twos out of this. Should be fairly good still. Uh, better take another one off maybe first. We'll just do a good one inch board here. Uh, adjust the tape here. Okay. Down an inch. Oh, oh, there. oh my goodness. That was bad. That wasn't good. But the blade's still okay. Looks a little more than, than an inch to me. Not too sure I like their scales on here. That's like an inch and a bit. So. I'll try that, I guess. Yeah, I'm not liking their scales. I might actually get a genuine tape measure for that. this down. What is a one by two? I got one stuck on here and sort of measure it. Looks like three quarter inch minus it's got to be plain and smooth, right? So if I take that probably down another inch and then I can run these through my table saw and cut them at that maybe two inch wide for a little bit wider area to, to, to write in. So I think if I just keep cutting this at the one inch we should be good. And then we got, uh, how wide do we got this beam here? It's uh, six and a half. Be longer this way. By about eight and a quarter. Nice. All right. So this doesn't have to be 
you know, space shuttle quality thickness stuff here. But I'd like it to be fairly close. Okay, so get this lined up. Layer. Drop this an inch. Bang on an inch. That, no, I went the wrong way. I'm not used to which way to go yet. Okay, so we were right there. Let me adjust this tape again. Okay. Okay, that should be an inch there. Well, that looks big. Just gonna check this again. That just doesn't look right. It's pretty close there. Once I plane it off a bit, I just got a hand planer, but uh, it's a pretty plain plane, but it should work.
think we could probably get away with these short ones now. I brought them out too, that's what was clanging there. falling right down the board or something, I don't know. Okay, these little ones, they were supposed to go like that. Pretty, pretty clever, where'd the other one go now? Uh oh, right there. So they got a little knob on them that lets it not go right through. Right? So that should butt up right nice to there, and ooh, that one's not really holding by much, but we could probably flip this and get her a little better that way. Got a bit of Wayne here, but Wayne never hurt nobody. Now we're to get this guy as low as we can too. Send him in. So now what do we got it down to here? Well, it should be still the same width, seven and six and a half by four. <laughs> So if we cut this in half, well, we wouldn't get quite two 4x4s, four but we get one 4x4 four four anyway, so. All right, I think we're ready to start up again here, finish this guy off, see how many boards we get. And then we might reload them on here after and uh, cut the 2x2s two by, two by, by out of them. All right, let's just check her here again. This should be all the same. And I need to get a tape measure with a Magnet on it. Yeah, looking pretty good there. Like I say, not for the space shuttle here, so. down to two inch there. Close enough. So I'm going to release that. Flip this guy up again. We'll have to put our... Uh, well, we might be able to get away with these logs. So yeah, we've got uh, two quite two inch but close enough for my, uh, my liking. I don't want to pinch that on too tight there. Okay so now we go down another inch on these. Okay so we'll establish our top, readjust that tape. 
It's a very fine adjustment on this saw, which is nice. You can just do little bits if you need to. Okay, we'll say that's about there. Adjust the tape. And then these will take down an inch, maybe. No, I don't need them that big. A little more now. It's hard to measure that, but there we go. See if this even cuts this. And we get our some one by twos out of that. So it's not a good idea to put your hand on the muffler. When you're starting it, that hurt a lot. It's actually singed. That's going to be hurting there for a while. <laughs> I can feel it already.
see how we did here. Well, we didn't do too bad. From that one piece we got, uh, that doesn't really count as too thick, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, basically one by twos. And the bigger boards here, we got uh, one, two, three, four really good ones. That one's pretty good too, five. And this one's not the greatest, so. Well, six, I guess, fish. That one's not the greatest either, but it would be used for something. So that's pretty good out of that one little log. Wow. You can see bug holes in here though, right? Drilled right through. But uh, run those through the little thickness planer and uh, I think she'd be pretty darn good. Sweet. There's something else we could do here just for a little bit of a little bit of fun. Not one board there. This one board here. What the heck's going on in my pocket? Okay. <laughs> Says data required to play back memory. What the heck is that even on about? Yeah, put those two there. All right, yeah, okay. We'll get these ones. It seems like it's very straight. And those ones, anyways, I don't know why, but anyways. Maybe the, maybe the wood. And one more. Right, got it, got it, okay. Then we take these. And we put these here like this. And you get kind of an idea what a board and batten would look like. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Whoa, falling over. So there's a nice board and batten wall for you. That looks pretty good, I think. Sweet. Well, there we go. We put a half an hour almost on her. Sweet, cutting that stuff. Got her a little bit dirty. A little bit dirty. Looks like it's yeah, a little bit dirty. That's all right. We didn't use a whole lot of water. I think we started about here, so about a quarter inch of water. Burnt my hand good. It's really starting to hurt there now. And uh, that's the one we chopped off and probably get rid of him. Yeah. Pretty light stuff. Oh yeah, and there's one of the top boards we took off too. So we could do a job onto that too, I guess. Just throw it down here for now. I'm going to leave this stuff sitting out here just for a wee while. Just to see... Uh, what the sun does to it, if it bows it or what it does to it. So, anyways, I gotta go look after my hand. This is really starting to hurt now. What I did was, uh, I'm like a guy that likes to put something, a hand on something, then pull it. This thing's, it shouldn't have to do that. But I put my hand here. I don't think you can see skin burnt to it, but I tell you, it smoked. <laughs> so that wasn't fun. But, anyways. I guess that's all we're going to do for today. So there we go. we got lots of other logs to do. And uh, testing logs, we'll say. And bigger stuff too. So that should be pretty much the whole length. So we'll be getting some big logs off of here. So that'll be nice. And this top one, I don't think it's much good. But we'll see what we can do. Maybe we'll just turn them into a, a beam or something. But it's not going to have much strength in it now, being all punky. Like I'm kicking the stuff off there, right? So that's not too good. Garbage. But anyway, so the bottom two might still be all right, but you can see the ant holes. Might look neat with the ant holes cut through or something. We'll see, but I'm not doing those today because this is really starting to hurt now. It's starting to fester up. That's probably the corner of the muffler there. Yeah, smoked. But anyways, that's it for today. She looks like she worked good. I'm pretty happy with it. You guys have a good one. Thanks again for watching. I'll have a little bit of stuff to clean up here. Oh, 
probably just go in there for now. We get the next one on in. The mosquitoes and bugs are out. Oh man, I am out of here. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.